the Managing Director of Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, Mr. Umaru Ibrahim, and the Managing Director of the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria, Mr. Chike, uh, Mr. Mustafa Chike Obi, and they said uh, that they have in mind the depositors' funds, and of course this move by the central bank and the NDIC has become absolutely necessary because the banks did not show the capacity to recapitalize before the September 30 deadline of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Now, for the funds that would be uh, given to this uh, th three new banks, the uh, AMCON says it will raise a fresh uh, cash today via the issuance of bonds uh, today. Now, let's look at the funds distribution for the three new banks, talking about Main Street Bank, Keystone Bank, and Enterprise Bank. Now, Main Street, uh, formerly Afri Bank, will get 285 uh, billion now. While Keystone Bank, formerly Bank PHB, will get uh, 283 billion naira. While Enterprise Bank, uh, formerly Spring Bank, will get 111 billion naira. Now, this is in addition to the 620 billion naira that the central bank injected into the banks, into the eight rescued banks in 2009, but between 2009 and 2010. So now this brings to total 1.2985 uh, trillion naira. The total funds injected into the banking system by the Apex Bank. Now, funds will raise, according to the AMCON, that's the Assets Management Corporation of Nigeria, the funds will raise the capital adequacy ratio of the banks to 15%, and, of course, this will allow them to continue with their uh, banking operations. He has said also that uh, the employees are safe, uh, bank uh, depositors' funds are also safe. There will be a seamless transition with the new uh, management, the new team that will manage the new banks, and there's no need to for anybody to panic as the banks are now in good hands. And between two or three years from now, uh, the banks will get new investors to uh, take over. And let's look at the new uh, management team for the three new banks, uh, Mainstream, Keystone, and Enterprise. Now, the chairman, the new chairman for the Mainstream Bank is Mr. Falalu Bello, and the managing director is Mrs. Faith Tweda uh, Matthews. And for Keystone, we have Jacobs at Jakey Bay. Uh, as the chairman and O.T. Ikomi as the managing director and for enterprise, Emeka Umuka uh, for ch the chairman of the Enterprise Bank while uh, the managing director is Mr. Ahmed Kuru. Now for the Main Street uh, Bank, Mr. Falalu Bello is a former group managing director of Unity Bank PLC. Uh, he resigned in July 1st, 2011. That's earlier this year. He takes over as chairman of Main Street Bank. Now looking at the profile also of uh, Keystone Bank, the chairman, Mr. Jacobs Ajekigbe, is a former managing director of First Bank, and he uh, now assumes uh, the position of chairman of the bank. Now, Enterprise Bank has a chairman, uh, Mr. Emeka Nwoka. He's a former uh, managing director of Diamond Bank. He retired on April the 1st, 2011, earlier this year, uh, after 19 years in the bank. We're still looking at the Nigeria's banking sector updates, of course, talking about the recent developments uh, by the Central Bank of Nigeria. And we're still, we're still expecting our guest, Mr. Wale Olubo. Now, we'll be taking, go on a short break now. When we return, we'll return uh, to talk to Wale Olubo. And we'll be looking, of course, at the recent developments.
Thanks. So let's quickly go over to the earnings board to see some of the earnings that came out on Broad Street on Friday. Now, Sky Bank PLC released its second quarter uh, earnings for June and for the period ended June 30, 2011. Now, turnover, according to the bank, came in at 48.93 billion now compared to 47.4 billion now in 2010. That's a, about a 3% increase in turnover for the bank. Now, the profit after tax came in at 6.51 a billion naira from about 5 billion naira in 2010, a 28% rise in earnings for the bank. Let's move over to Access Bank PLC. Its first quarter results ended March 31st, 2011. Turnover came in at 24.3 billion naira from 27.7 billion naira in 2010. 12% uh, decline in turnover there for the bank. The profits after tax came in at 4.1 billion naira from about 4 billion naira in 2010, a 4% uh, increase in earnings for Access Bank. Let's take some business news, some Nigeria, some news from uh, around the country. Now, the NSC chief, that's the Nigeria Stock Exchange chief executive, Mr. Oscar Yemer, says he projects one trillion naira market market uh, capitalization for the boss by 2016. And now, right now, the market is currently in a negative of, of about 6% following uh, the bearish run in the last couple of weeks. Of course, the banking subsector has led the decline at the market. We've seen investors' confidence declining towards a majority of the blue chip stocks, uh, particularly the banking stocks. Now, also, the Minister of Finance, Mrs. Okonjo Uyala, is holding crucial meetings, uh, and she will meet with Citigroup and JP Morgan, also top investors, on new investment uh, opportunities and focus for Nigeria. We'll give you an update of that and give you more details as we get them. And some analysts uh, projecting Nigeria's economic projections, uh, they say that the, it might be at risk of oil price plunge and, of course, fears of global economic slowdown. They're saying that now that oil prices are slipping, uh, falling steadily, oil uh, is currently trading at around $84 per barrel uh, this morning, that that might impact on Nigeria's economy. Now we're still looking at the banking sector update. Now on Friday, the Central Bank of Nigeria revoked three licenses of uh, that's Afri Bank, Bank PHB, and Spring Bank. Now the NDIC, that's the Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, uh, transferred the bank's assets and liabilities to Bridge Banks. And this all happened on Friday. Now the Bridge Banks, the new Bridge Banks, Main Street Bank, formerly Afri Bank, Keystone, formerly Bank PHB, and Enterprise Bank, formerly uh, Spring Bank. Now, the, according to the NDIC, the bridge banks will be run by uh, the NDIC as growing concerns. Now, the intervention, according to the central bank, was necessary to prevent liquidation and, of course, protect depositors' funds. Now, on Saturday, 24 hours later, we were informed that the asset management company of Nigeria, Amcon, uh, took over the bridge banks as a majority shareholder and will inject $678.5 billion via bonds issue today. Now, the state bad bank, that's Amcon, will hand over the nationalized banks to new investors in the next two to three years. Now, according to the managing director of Amcon, Mr. Mr. Bustafa Chike Obi, the primary objective is to stabilize the banking system. He also says that all deposits with Amcon-run banks will be guaranteed by the Central Bank of Nigeria. And just like uh, for the other four banks that have signed transaction implementation agreements, the Apex Bank has also extended its interbank guarantee on the three nationalized banks to December 31st, 2011. Now for the fresh funds distribution, the uh, money that would go to the three new banks, let's look at how the money will be distributed. Now Main Street Bank will get 285 billion naira. Keystone Bank will get 283 billion naira. While Enterprise Bank, uh, formerly Spring Bank, will get 111 billion naira. Now, this fresh 678.5 billion naira brings to total 1.298.5 uh, trillion naira uh, injected into the banking system by the Central Bank of Nigeria since 2009. Now, according to the Central Bank, the funds will raise capital adequacy ratio of the banks to 15% to allow them to continue with their operations without any hitch. Now, of course, Amcon says it has appointed a new management team.